Yeah, I bought ham. I don't even eat ham. What's up, guys? It's Kaze here. So I was doing research for my last video. Check it out, by the way. And upon my extensive research, I discovered that Ric Flair and Roddy Piper were on Wife Swap. Oh my god, no way. So, of course I had to watch it. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Wife Swap, it's a reality show that's based on a British TV show with the same name. The show takes two families, usually from different social classes, or who just live completely different lifestyles. And you can probably guess that they swap the wives of the household, and sometimes husband. Now there's all types of alternative versions of Wife Swap, including a spin-off, Celebrity Wife Swap, and that's where we find Ric Flair and Roddy Piper. The amount of time that the spouses are swapped varies, Google says two weeks though. Thank you again to everybody who's just been showing so much support. This has been awesome. Please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. <sighs> so the show starts off by introducing both guys and they do a slightly better job than I thought they would do. Neither of these guys need an introduction but they do have a bit of a storied past that they kind of just gloss over. So Ric Flair and Roddy Piper feuded a few times throughout their careers. The one I'm most familiar with is the time from 1980 to 1983. Also, does anybody else remember when these guys were world tag team champions in 2005 and they feuded against rated RKO? I literally thought I dreamt that. However, I found that they faced each other 40 times from 1980 to 1983 in a feud over the United States Championship. And they also face each other in tag team matches in that same time frame an additional 40 times. And this made me wonder, was this normal? Like did wrestlers just face each other over and over again for years at a time? Then I realized, yes. Now in today's day and age, we do see matches spammed a lot. Most recently with like Brock and Roman, Cena and Orton, Orton and Sheamus for some reason. And it's cause these rivalries usually sell. Except for Orton and Sheamus, I think they were just trolling us. So after the introductions, they start explaining the contrast between good old Hot Rod and Nature Boy. By the way, the show's narrated by some guy who talks like this. I always found these narrators to be pretty funny, actually. But sometimes they do go overboard. No way. He's accused of burning up a homeowner. So the first couple they interview is Ric Flair and his not wife, but girlfriend, Wendy. Yeah, so at this point, Ric Flair had been married four times, and I'm assuming he just wasn't going to go for a fifth. That would be insane. Wendy actually played the character Fifi. She was Ric Flair's maid in WCW, which is actually pretty ironic because she does not lift a finger whenever Ric Flair's around. Wendy has four kids, and she has shared custody with her ex. She lives with Rick in Charlotte, North Carolina, and the kids come to visit on the weekends. Flair mentions he has four kids of his own, and when they were old enough, he was out. And Charlotte Flair has even come out and said this has affected her. In fact, her and Rick wrote about it in their book. I didn't read it though. Not because I can't read though. I can do that. Huh? Oh yeah, well what does this say? Gotcha. Aw oh, damn, you got me. Yup, yup, do it. So they're really highlighting the fact that Ric Flair spends a lot of money on Wendy. And he also doesn't like to just sit still in the house. He has to go out. He has to be seen, especially in Charlotte, North Carolina. He's definitely royalty out there. We get to know Wendy a little bit more, and it's quite the experience. So, Wendy, what do you do for a living? My job is to be pampered. Yeah, but then what do you, like, do for work? I get manicures, pedicures. We like to eat out. Right, 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 right. Just cut this out. So next, Roddy Piper and his wife Kitty are introduced. And right off the bat, you can tell they're just polar opposites from Rick and Wendy. They met in 1979 and they have been married for 30 years at this point. They're very down to earth and secluded. They actually live in the mountains out in Portland. They don't really go out and they're very cautious with their money. Living with them is their son Colt and his fiance Sarah and their youngest daughter Fallon. Now, Roddy Piper actually lives the more traditional retired wrestler life. Usually when wrestlers retire, they kind of ride off into the sunset. They've been around the public and fans their whole careers. So at this point, they kind of want to just live a quiet life. Maybe do some farming. Yeah, there's a few wrestlers that just start farming or live on a ranch. So Roddy says the celebrity factor never really plays a role when he and his family go out. For him, it was just a way to make money and he'd come right home to his family. Side note, there's like some clips of Roddy training with his son and just spending time with his family. It's super heartwarming. 
So Kitty pretty much does all the chores. She wakes up, she takes care of the family, she takes care of the animals, she's cleaning the house, she's doing the yard work. Like she's literally just a super mom. I think all moms are super, am I right? No. So no one knows who they're swapping with. They all seem to be doing this for the experience and for the chance to appreciate what they have at home. Kitty and Wendy both respectively check out their new houses. And Kitty's pretty overwhelmed after she notices this is Ric Flair's home. Only because she realizes Ric Flair is going to try and be out all night. And Wendy, well, she's overwhelmed for a different reason. Hopefully I have somebody who does the laundry because that is like my worst thing. They both wrote letters to each other, explaining their roles of the house and what's expected of them. And Wendy's already having a culture shock about having to cook and clean. And my thing is, you have four kids, you've never had to wash their clothes? Roddy Piper and the kids come home to meet Wendy, and he actually has no idea who she is. Now, I was gonna put a joke here about Ric Flair's, at this point, four divorces, but I couldn't think of anything that had a nice ring to it. Oh, hey, wait! As soon as Roddy realizes that this is Ric Flair's girlfriend, he immediately says, My wife's with Ric Flair? I found this pretty hilarious because that's a sentence no man ever wants to say. So Wendy kind of gives the family the rundown about how she doesn't cook or clean and she usually has help. And they kind of say that's nice, but she's in the wrong place. Ric Flair immediately recognizes Kitty. And this makes sense. Kitty and Roddy have been together for 30 years at this point, so... Everyone who is backstage should know who she is. Rick introduces Kitty to the kids and the nanny. Yeah, there's a nanny. And he leaves the kids with the nanny to go take Kitty out for an extravagant night. This man Rick has a limo pull up and takes her jewelry shopping immediately. Okay, Rick, before we start, we're going to have to explain to you the rules of the show, all right? I know it's called Wife Swap, but she's not actually your wife. Get stealing! Woo! Wheeling, dealing! Living, dealing! right! No, no wheelie dealy. Okay, none of that. And I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. Woo! Right, right. Hey, have Hogan on standby? Kitty insists that Rick save his money, but Rick insists that he spend his money. He buys Kitty a diamond necklace. And I do want to say around this time, Ric Flair was about two years removed from his TNA stint. And he has started making appearances for WWE again. Ric Flair's salary with WWE was about 35 k a month, not to mention his many endorsements, but he has historically had issues with his money. We switch back to Wendy at Roddy Piper's house. She's kind of just being a spaz. She's never made a meatloaf before, but that's Roddy's favorite dinner, so she's going to make a meatloaf. And it goes about as well as you think. I don't like to touch raw meat. Yeah, so they end up feeding her food to the dog. We cut to Kitty and Rick and they're out on their dinner. And to be honest, it just seems like Ric Flair kind of wanted to go out in order for people to walk up to him and get his autograph, take pictures. That's all he's really doing. He's not really focused on Kitty. By the way, Rick buys almost everybody in there a drink. And she's not too impressed with his display of ego. Kitty's already seemingly exhausted, but Rick decides they're going to go to another bar. And it's just more of the same, more of a group setting and Rick's buying more drinks for everybody. It's day two and Wendy's starting the morning farming, even though she's afraid of animals. What are you doing? Over at Rick's house, he decides he's going to send Kitty to the spa. And Kitty's starting to seriously question Ric Flair's financial decisions. And it's not because she's aware of Ric Flair's financial decisions. It's more so because she's so used to not spending as much money, especially on a daily basis, that she's left wondering what amount is he saving. We switch back over to Roddy and Wendy. And Roddy's training his son in the ring. And they're having fun and they're bonding. And it reminds Wendy that she should probably spend some time with her kids. We're back at the Flair house and Kitty arrives home before Rick. Rick's off at the gym first and then I'm assuming he went to go do some more Rick Flair stuff. So Kitty invites Beth over, who is Rick Flair's ex-wife. Kitty and Roddy were actually a part of Beth and Rick's wedding and Beth and Kitty have remained close since. The two start talking about Ric Flair's spending habits and Beth actually compares him to Elvis where she says his fans are kind of his posse at the same time. And that might be pretty accurate, I'm not gonna lie. They continue on by saying that Rick is pretty much trying to live up to his name in a sense and he can't let go of the past days. And Ric Flair comes from an era where you really had to dress the part in order to be the part, especially if you wanted to be champion. You couldn't just show up to the ring in a flashy suit and then leave the show in like a broke down car. Even without social media at the time, word would travel pretty fast. 
So the two wives start to make their own rules of the house and proceed to enforce them. Wendy would like a family spa day, a family shopping spree, and a family dinner at the nicest restaurant in town. Meanwhile, Kitty would like for the family to stay in the house for one day, and Rick is not happy about it. I'll do it, but I'm not happy about it. Okay, well f you too, Rick. Kitty also wants to go grocery shopping with Rick while he's incognito. By the way, this is his disguise. This is the most absurd thing I've ever done in my life. Kitty and Rick go to the grocery store, and it goes about as well as you think. Yeah, I bought ham. I don't even eat ham. And Roddy goes on his family shopping spree. And he's pretty much like every man when a woman's shopping. He's having fun, right? I hate shopping. Yeah, you got it. So Roddy spends almost $9,000, and he's a bit heated. Roddy and the family then go to the spa, and he's putting on the tough guy front of, oh, I don't need a spa. I say, it's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself, man. It's you. So after a few mimosas, Roddy finally comes out of his shell, and he relaxes. It's actually pretty cool to see the high be a family man and just try and make his kids laugh. So Kitty sits Rick down and confronts him about his spending habits, and even his lifestyle. While Kitty was speaking with Beth, it was actually revealed that Rick used to be an at-home family man up until a certain point of his life where things just changed. And Kitty asks Rick, was it because of his retirement? Rick Flair had just recently retired four years prior to this. And after having a career that's almost 50 years long, it probably takes a few years to adjust after that. If you ever adjust, he's actually spent more time wrestling and being a star longer than he's done anything else in his life. Rick says retirement was a hard time for him and it's tough not being on the road with the boys. And if you don't know, wrestlers drive city to city a lot. And I mean from early on in their career all the way until they make it major. So it's not uncommon for wrestlers to carpool. In fact, they have a show on the WWE Network called Ride Along. In the show, they actually filmed WWE superstars driving to the next city. It was actually pretty good. I can definitely cover it if you guys want. So due to this very casual conversation, Rick obviously starts crying. And I thought of something while making this video. And now I'm theory Kaze. You see my magnifying glass? So every time we see Ric Flair, he's either bleeding, sweating, or crying. Maybe this is a way of him saying he's always put his blood, sweat, and tears into his work. Or at least that's what I'm taking from it. So Roddy takes Wendy out to a fancy restaurant. And he's in full-on leather jacket and kilt, so this must be important to him. And they actually have a good time. This whole episode, Roddy's been giving Wendy a hard time in his confessional interviews, in a joking manner. But you could tell he just really wanted his wife there. And this actually shows Roddy that it's nothing wrong taking your spouse out for a dinner. Kitty and Wendy prepare to go back home, but before they all go home, they meet back up at the studio and share their experiences. Wendy admits that she does wish that Rick would spend more time with her and the kids. And they also start talking about Rick's spending habits, especially in the bar. And this is where Roddy chimes in, and he's actually defending Rick. Roddy says that back in the day, the world champion would always pick up the tab for the entire bar just to show that he's the champion and he's a class act. And Rick still does that because he sees himself as a champion. He sees himself as a legend. Now, this little bit of context really adds a lot of perspective for me. Now, at first, I thought Ric Flair was just blindly spending money in order to keep up with his reputation. And yeah, that's essentially what he is doing. But when you've been in the business for as long as Ric Flair and you're as iconic as Ric Flair, it's kind of hard to know who you are outside of all that. So Rick and Roddy end up getting into a pretty awkward conversation about how Roddy thinks that there are people in Rick's life who are just not looking out for him and not there for his benefit. And Rick seems to just be in denial about it all. I never want to hear you say that again. Roddy even slapped the table and said, let me talk. This indicates he's serious. But they both look like they're trying not to break character, so I can't tell if this is actually serious. Oh, but he slapped the table. I know, man, I know. So they all end up reflecting on what they did the entire episode, also what they learned and how things are going to change. They cut to six weeks later and Kitty still does all the chores around the house. However, Roddy takes her out more. And Rick still lives an extravagant lifestyle, but he spends a little bit more time with the kids. All in all, this was a pretty entertaining episode. I'm not a huge fan of Wife Swap, but if they have certain people on, I'll watch it. Now, a lot has actually transpired since the airing of this episode. Ric Flair sadly lost his son later the same year that this aired, and we also lost Roddy Piper about two years after this aired. Ric Flair and Wendy ended up getting married in 2018. They divorced in 2022. Roddy's son, Colt, ended up marrying his fiance, and they're still together to this day. I couldn't find much on his youngest daughter, Fallon, but I hope she's cool. And Kitty remains a devoted mother and appears anytime Roddy Piper is celebrated. I first off want to say thank you guys for all the love and support. 
we hit a thousand subs thank you guys so much i've got a lot more coming please any suggestions that you guys want me to do let me know in the comments please like and subscribe it really does help the channel out put your seatbelts on and until next time keep it kaze